1931 Athletics had won 100 games for the third season in a row. Actually, won 107 in 1931. And they were led by four Hall of Famers, Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, Lefty Grove, and Mickey Cochran. Fox, I think, was the best player in the 1930s. He averaged 41 homers and 140, I think 147 RB, 140 RBIs for a decade. And Al Simmons, high batting averages. So he had 365 and I think at 29, he had 390 and 31. Uh, had some power, 33 homers, was I believe his best home run season. Um, Actually, 1930, he had 36 and 34 and 29, uh, 22 and, and 31. And then Lefty Grove was baseball's best pitcher in 1931, winning 31 games, 2.06 earned run average. And Lefty Grove, in some people's minds, best all-time left-hander ever, along with Warren Spahn. Mickey Cochran, oh, by the way, Grove was the only player ever to be traded for a fence. And his uh, minor league team in West Virginia, uh, the club needed a, couldn't play home games because they didn't have a fence. So the Baltimore Orioles bought Lefty Grove uh, enough money for the owner to put a fence around his field. So uh, then Mickey Cochran. Here's Mickey Cochran who helped lead the A's to their three pennants in 29, 30, and 31, went on to help lead the Tigers to the 34 and 35 pennants, 34 world champion, champion, uh, 35 world champions. And uh, he was also player manager of the Detroit Tigers. So Mickey Cochran, while with the A's, led by example, and definitely was a team leader. These four Hall of Famers will be taking on the gas house game of the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, gas house gang, uh, referring to gas houses that uh, produce um, heat for homes. Uh, they were usually close to railroad yards, railroad yards, and um, that was before natural gas was used. The Cardinals were led by a lot of Southerners and people from the Southwest, uh, also from um, hard backgrounds. Joe Medway, one of the better hitters in the National League in the 1930s, he had th over 350 for three straight years, was a triple crown winner in 1936. Dizzy Dean, 30 uh, game winner, 2.66 ERA in 1934. And his brother Paul Dean, uh, over here, he was a 19 game winner in 1934. Frankie Frisch was the player manager of the St. Louis Cardinals, and uh, he was a Hall of Famer. Most of his career was with the New York Giants. He was known as the Fordham Flash, born in the Bronx, New York, and went to Fordham University. But he was the player manager, played second base for this championship team in 1934. Join me as we play the 31 Athletics and the 34 Gas House game St. Louis Cardinals in this series, best of three. to the ball game take me out with the crowd buy me some peanuts and cracker jack i don't care if i ever get back for his root 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 for the home team if they don't win it's a shame for it's one two Three strikes around at the old ball game. Hello, everybody. This is Appa Brian and Appa Baseball Classics. And we have a great matchup today between the 1931 Philadelphia A's and the 1934 St. Louis Cardinals. This is the last matchup of the first round of the all-time greats tournament. And... Um, we got our pitchers today, two 30-game winners 
Jay Hanna, Dizzy Dean for the Cardinals, and Lefty Grove for the Athletics. We've had the starting lineups. We're ready to begin. Pepper Martin steps into the box. We're going to be using the um, Marino boards. So it's a hybrid between the basic game and the master game, except for every sp five spots. Um, we have the pitcher's grade, so I still use the basic pitcher's grades. Um, I don't like doing the math uh, while I'm broadcasting games. All right, here's Pepper Martin stepping into the box. Pitch to Pepper is a 21. Read the blue die first. That's a fly ball to left field. Mule Haas is under it, and he makes the catch. One down. Pepper Martin is one of the members of the Mudcat Band. Jack Rothwell, 36, is a 33. And that is a pop out to second base or Y. He doesn't have a Y. So next Bishop makes that catch. And there's two quick outs for the cards. Here is Ripper Collins, the first baseman. 35 home runs and a 333 average in 1934 for the Cardinals. 51 is an 8 on the AC, and that's a fly ball to center field. Bing Miller is under it and makes the catch. 1 2 3 for the Gas House Gang. We go to the bottom of the first. A's coming to bat. Max Bishop will lead off for Philadelphia. 25 is a Nine against an AC pitcher. That's going to be ground ball back to Dizzy Dean. He's got it. So it's over to Collins at first. One down. Mule Huss. 45 is a base on balls. Huss does not steal bases. He's got an end grade there, so he's not going. Mickey Cochran. Mickey Cochran was a catcher, came up the same time as Jimmy Fox and kind of blocked Fox's progress to the major leagues for a couple of years because Fox came up as a catcher. Here's the pitch to the Hall of Famer. Mickey Cochran, 32, is a 26. That is a fielder's choice ground ball to second base. They go to the short way to retire Mule Haas, 4-6. to six. Cochran's on first with two outs. Al Simmons, there's not a lot of team speed with the Philadelphia A's. They are mashers. Al Simmons hit 390 in 1931. 31 is a 8. And that will be a ground ball back to the pitcher. That ends the first inning. We go to the top of the second inning. No score. Philadelphia Athletics won 107 games in 1931, and they became the first team to try to win three straight world championships, but they came up just short against the Cardinals in the 31 World Series. Joe Ducky Medwick leads off for the Cardinals in the second. Here's the pitch from Lefty Grove. 43 is a ground ball back to the pitcher Grove. One away. Grove got, got his start a little bit late in life. Uh, he didn't make it to the major leagues until he was 25 years old. Here is Frankie Frisch. 62 is a 26. Ground ball to Max Bishop at second base. Throws the first, and there are two outs. Virgil Davis, 300 hitting catcher for the Cardinals. 44 is a base hit, the first hit of the game by Virgil Davis. Slow runner first. The Cardinals will play it safe. Ernie Orsetti. 41 is a Ground ball to shortstop, taken there by Dip Williams to throw first. Three outs. To the bottom of the second, still no score.
All right, Jimmy Fox, double X, will lead off for the Athletics. I think he was the best player of the 1930s. He averaged 41 home runs a year and 140 RBIs over that 10-year span. Here's the pitch from Busy Dean to Jimmy Fox. 1-4 is a fly ball to left field caught by Jack Rothrock. One down. Bing Miller. And that rolled off the table, so we'll call that a foul ball. Strike one. 41 is a ground ball to the shortstop, Louis DeRocher. Throws the first. Two away. Jimmy Dykes, who later became a longtime manager in the major leagues. 55 is a eight. And that is going to be a ground ball back to Dean. Three up and three down for the A's. We go to the third. No score. Bill DeRocher, the, <clears throat> who Babe Ruth labeled as the All-American out, will lead off for the Cardinals. Sixty-one is a ground ball to shortstop. Six to three. Bib Williams with the play. Here's Dizzy Dean. 13 is a 23. The um, Cardinals are feeling column too. <clears throat> and I forgot to add up the A's. So 9, 12, 21, 24, 29, 31, 37, 40. They're feeling column 1. And so 13 is a 23. That will test the pitcher, and that's going to be an error on Dizzy Dean, or Lefty Grove, rather. Dean's on first. Average speed, and here is Pepper Martin. Let's get the A's in the dugout, and Cardinals on first. Here's the pitch to Pepper. 25 is a 10, and that's going to be a single. That'll send Dean to third. B24 stealing for Pepper Martin. And um, Groves moves to first is plus one. Cochran is a Nine Thor, when they don't have the um, numbers for throwing, I think we'll go by the this number, nine, defensive rating. And I will make him a plus three throwing, and then A would be like a plus one or two, and maybe a seven would be zero, six would be... And run, let's make him a five. How about that? So six off the stealing. Be 18, a little better than half a chance. Jack Rock, Rothrock, 284 hitter. First and third, the infield will be playing back for a potential double play. Right, here's the pitch to Rothrock. 1 2 is a 25, and that is a 6 4 3 double play. That kills the threat in the third. We go to the bo bottom of the third. The A's coming to bat. Nothing, nothing. To Dib Williams. 6 6 roll. That's a hit column roll for Williams. And 34 is a single. Here's Lefty Grove. He will sacrifice. 61 is a 24. And that is going to be a fielder's choice, 1 to 6. Fielded by Dean. He gets the out at second. So the sacrifice fails. And Grove is a slow runner at first. I'll play it safe on the base path. Top of the order. Max Bishop. 
21 is a fly ball to left field, two outs. Here's Moose Haas. 2-2, two, two, that's a hit column roll for Haas. 32 is a 7. So that sends the runner to, to second because he's playing it safe. First and second with two outs. Mickey Cochran. This is the Athletics for a scoring chance. Dizzy Dean pitching from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Mickey Cochran. 32 is going to kill the rally. 26. That's a pop up on the infield. And Frankie Frisch is under it, makes the catch. That's the end of the third inning. We go to the top of the fourth. Still no score. 31 games won by Grove in 1931. 31-4 the 2.06 earned run average. We have um, Dean won 30 games, 2.66 ERA. Ripper Collins leads off for the Cardinals in the fourth. 64 is a walk. Um, control was a problem when Lefty Grove first got to the major leagues. He had trouble throwing strikes. Took a while to get it down. A lot of throwing balls up side of wall. And he then he marked off with chalk in the off season. Here is Joe Medwick. Fifty six is a thirty four and that's a pop up to the shortstop. Caught by Deb Williams, one out. Here's Frisch, player manager of the Cardinals, twenty two. Seven, that's gonna be a fly ball to right field. Runner holds, that's two outs. And now Virgil Davis. 53 is a 19 that will test the third baseman. Jimmy Dykes is a six, which is feeling column one. And a ground out to third base, five to three. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Still no score. Simmons is the leadoff hitter for the Athletics in the last of the fourth inning. There is no score, and runs are going to be hard to come by in this game. Here's the pitch to Al Simmons. 1-2 is a 25. That's going to be a ground ball to uh, shortstop. 6-3. Field Rocher with the play. Here's Jimmy Fox. Double X. His best year was 1932, where he threatened he had 60 home runs. He had 58. But um, there were some screens put up in three ballparks um, around the league. Uh, St. Louis was one of them that weren't there when Betty Bruce was playing. And they took away some of Fox's home runs. Here is the pitch to Jimmy Fox. 1, 2, 25. That's going to be a X for a strikeout. Two outs. Both pitchers have the X modifier. Here is Dean Miller. 21 is a fly ball to your left field. Jack Rothrock is under it. He makes the catch. We go to the fifth inning. Still no score. Well, in the last marquee pitching matchup between Page and Johnson, nobody backed down through regulation. Uh, one on one ten innings, the other one, I think, 11. We'll see what happens in this game. Orsetti steps in on the top of the fifth. 53 is a 15. That's going to be a testing of the left fielder who is Mil Haas. He's uh, feeling column one. That's going to be a fly out to left field. That turns that into an out. If he was a two or a one, that would have been a hit. 
here is Rio de Rocha. 45 is going to be a walk. Second walk surrendered by Grove. Rocha is a G26 stealing. We'll take six off the, that steel number. And the G means it has to be two outs, eighth inning or later. Lizzie Dean will try to bunt. 34 is a 31, and it's a one to four sacrifice, sending to Rusher to second and two outs. Base hit here could get the cards on the board, and it's Pepper Martin. Thirty-two is a twenty-six and ground out to second base. Max Bishop makes the play that closes out the Cardinals fifth. For the bottom of the fifth, still no score. All right, Jimmy Dykes leads off for the Philadelphia Athletics. Here's a pitch from Dean. Fifty-four is a fly ball to right field, one down. Doug Williams, 56, is a 34. That's a Y. He's got an X. Pop out shortstop. Drosher makes the play. Two down. And now the pitcher, Lefty Grove. 62 is a swing and a miss for strike three. We go to the sixth inning. No score. So far, the Philadelphia A's have only two hits, and the Cardinals have only two hits. All are singles. Here is Jack Rothrock. 42 is a swing and a miss for Rothrock. Strike three. Ripper Collins. 16 is a 28. That's a ground out to shortstop. Six to three. Here is Joe Medwick. He's a hard-nosed player, sometimes hard to get along with, even by his teammates. Here's a pitch to Medwick. 61 is 27, and that's a X4A strikeout. So Lefty Grove strikes out two of the three Cardinals. We go to the bottom of the six. Nothing, nothing. Max Bishop, top of the order for the White Elephants. There is the pitch from Dizzy Dean. 35 is a base on ball, second walk given up by Dean. 29 steal rating, he's not going to be going. Here is Neil Haas. Doesn't have an extra 31. It's going to swing away. Here's the pitch. 1 6 is a 28. And that is a 6 to 3 ground out. The runner goes to second. Cochran. 1 down. 46 is a 29. That's ground out to first base. And the runner moves to third. Bishop's on third. Simmons needs to get a hit here for them to score. Unless there's a wild pitch. Here's a wild pitch, one ready. Here's a pitch to Al Simmons. 54 is a fly ball to the right field. That'll end the sixth. We go to the seventh inning. Nothing, nothing. 305 hitter. Here's the pitch to Frisch. 25 is a 8. It's an AC pitcher. That's going to be a 31. That's a fly ball to the center field. One away. Virgil Davis, 44, is a single by Davis, a third hit for the Cardinals. He is a 
in stealing, so he's not going to be stealing. Ernie or, or Sadie is better. Cardinals hit three, I think, three fourteen as a team in nineteen thirty one, the year they beat the A's, and they've got high averages on this squad as well. And thirty four fifty one is a eight. And that will be a ground ball. That's going to be a play result of 29. So ground out to the pitcher, one to three. And Davis goes to second. They're, playing, they're not going to play it safe. There's two outs. Here's DeRusher. Twenty-two. That's a seven, and uh, let's see what that does. That's a base hit, and a runner scores. Because they're not playing it safe, you'd have to stop a third if they were. And the Cardinals are on the board, one to nothing in the seventh inning. So what do you know? Babe Bruce, All-American out, drives in the only run against Lefty Grove. Here is Dizzy Dean. 1-3 is a 23 that will test the... Uh, no, 23 is going to be a... Go on the right page. With two outs, a buck. Sends DeRocher to second. Twenty-three is a twelve. That's a strikeout. So at the end of the top of the seventh, St. Louis one and Philadelphia nothing. By all accounts, Jimmy Fox was one of the friendliest, most generous players in baseball in the 1930s. Always paid for everybody's meal when he when they ate together. He paid for expensive clothes. Him and his wife both. So later he ended up having financial problems. There was a drinking problem toward the end of his years. But um, some ascribe that to a beating he took that affected his sinuses. And um, it, that beating took a, uh, an effect on his career late in his years as well. Here's the pitch to Jimmy Fox. Jumped out, but will count it. It stayed on the table. 1-5 is a 10. And that is going to be an out. 33. Why strike out? So Dean has struck out Fox twice in the game. Here is Ding Miller. 1 5 is an 8. Fly ball to center field. Two outs. And now Jimmy Dykes. 51 is a 9. And that is a. Play result of 26. Round out the second base. Three outs. We go to the eighth. One to nothing, Cardinals. The gas outs game are at the top of the order. Pepper Martin leads off for St. Louis. Thirty-six is a thirty-three. Y, uh, he's got an X, so 33 is pop out to Max Bishop at second base. One down in the eighth. Here's Jack Rothrock. 22 is a seven, and that's a single for Rothrock. C18 stealing, take six off that, be less than half a chance. Ripper Collins, 64, is a 14. He's got the Z modifier, two balls and no strikes to Collins. Later play with the Cubs in the 38 World Series. 43 is a 29. That's going to be a ground out to the pitcher. Runner goes to second. 2 0 Joe Medwick. 
62 is a 26, and that's a ground out to third. All right, the A's are down to their last six outs. Dib Williams, the pitcher, and Max Bishop. Here's the pitch to Dib Williams. 64 is a swing and a miss for a strike three. One away. They're going to leave Lefty Grove in the game. Maybe. Let me think about it. Nope, they're going to pitch it. Doc Kramer will come in to hit against Dizzy Dean. Here's the pitch. 52 is a 27. That's an X. That's a strikeout. And now the top of the order, Max Bishop with two outs and bases clear. 36 is a 33. That's going to be a pop out to second base. Caught by Frankie Frisch. We go to the ninth. one nothing Cardinals. Frankie Frisch, the forward and flash, leads off for the Cardinals in the top of the ninth. The new pitcher for the Philadelphia A's is Hank McDonald. He is a grade C pitcher with a W modifier. Here's the pitch to Frankie Frisch. 6-6 six, six roll. That's a hit column roll for Frisch. And 64 is a double. Spud Davis, the catcher. He's going to swing away. Here's the pitch to Davis. 64 is a 38. And that is a single. And the runner goes to third. Error on the pitcher, or not error, uh, injury on the pitcher. So McDonald comes in and gives up two hits. And he's either has got to be replaced. First, we'll see how long the injury will be for McDonald. We'll roll on the injury table. He's a J4. 21 is a 37-game injury. So that's it for the tournament for McDonald. All right, new pitcher for the A's is Leroy Mahaffey Popeye. He is a grade C YW pitcher. He's got first and third and nobody out. Ernie Orsani at the bat. The A's will play the infield back. 56. It's going to be a fly out to left field. Let's see how deep it is. So in these situations, you roll one dice for the depth of the fly ball. And you add the, um, this is hit the left field. So left fielder is throwing arm. Or excuse me, you add the runner on third's running speed to the depth of the fly ball and then subtract the throwing arm. Four is a medium depth fly ball at 30. So the runner on third is David, uh, let's see, Frisch. And Frisch has a Fourteen, so forty-four. Subtract the arm of the left fielder, who is Haas. Eleven is his chance. His chances to score are eleven through twenty-five. He's not going to go. Not deep enough to score the run. So one down. Here's Leo DeRocher, who has the game's only run. Driven in. Here's the pitch to DeRocher. Still infield is back. 1 6 is a 28. Okay, if you, that's a double play. 6 4 3. Double play. That ends the inning. Nobody scores. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Cardinals 1 and the A is nothing. All right, Dizzy Dean completes his warm up tosses. He passed his point of weakness inning, but nothing bad has happened to him, so he's in no danger of tiring soon. Neil Huss leads off for the Athletics in the bottom of the ninth inning. 46 is a fly ball to right field. 
one away down the two outs for the A's in game one. Here is Mickey Cochran. 26 is a 26. That's a ground ball to Frankie Frisch at second base. He throws to Ripper Collins, and there's two away. Last chance is Al Simmons. 22 home runs in 1931. Pitch from Dean. 1 2 will wrap it up. Ground ball to, oops, that's an X. That's going to be a swing and a miss for strike three. And Dizzy Dean has completed a two hit shutout over the powerful Philadelphia Athletics. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a second. The St. Louis Cardinals jump ahead of the Philadelphia Athletics here in the all time greats game 78, first game of the series. By a one nothing score, the Cardinals scored one run on seven hits and no errors. The Athletics scored no runs on two hits and one error. The winning pitcher is Dizzy Dean. Nine innings of shutout baseball, two hits, six strikeouts, and two walks. And the loser is Lefty Grove. Eight innings pitch, one earned run, five hits, three strikeouts, and two walks. So the Cardinals go up one to nothing. Dizzy Dean's brother Paul will pitch tomorrow. And we will go to Sportsman Park in St. Louis. Hope you enjoyed the game. Thanks for watching. Good day and God bless.